और वाइट गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज लोकेश कुमार एक और वीडियो में आपका स्वागत है और आज की इस वीडियो में मैं आपको बताऊंगा कि कैसे हमारी जो एच डी फाइल्स होती जो गेम प्ले हम रिकॉर्ड करते हैं कोई भी एच डी फाइल है हम उसको कैसे छोटा कर सकते हैं बिना किसी क्वालिटी कॉम्प्रोमाइज़ के ये जो वीडियो आप देखने वाले हो ये वीडियो तकरीबन मैंने आज से पाँच या छः साल पहले रिकॉर्ड की थी उस वक्त पर जब मैंने ये सोचा था कि भाई मैं यूट्यूब चैनल खोलूँगा अपना नया बट वो प्लान और यूट्यूब का चैनल खोलना वहीं का वहीं रह गया किसी वजह से बट वो वीडियो मेरे पास रिकॉर्ड अभी तक है सो एनी वे गाइज लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो देखते हैं इस वीडियो में क्या है हालांकि इसमें इतनी आ, मेरी जो वॉइस क्वालिटी है वॉइस है जो इतनी साफ नहीं है क्योंकि उस वक्त मेरे पास ये वाला माइक नहीं है जो मेरे पास अभी है बट इतनी भी ख़राब नहीं कि समझना है वीडियो वो इंग्लिश में मैंने रिकॉर्ड की थी तो बहुत ही बहुत ही प्लेन और बहुत ही सिंपल तरीके से मैंने उसमें बताया है होपफुली आपको पसंद आएगी शुरू करते बिना किसी तरीके लेट कैट इन टू इट Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Lokesh. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how you can make your SD file in small size. You can make the size really smaller. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing that you're gonna download on your computer is the software called Handbrake. It's a free software. You can simply download the link given in the description below. Once you're done with the downloading, you're gonna simply see the screen like that. It's a very small software, so it's not gonna take much of your time. You can simply add a single file if you have HD single file. You can also add a folder if you have multiple files. So today I'm gonna add a single file for you, and the file that I have decided to convert is this one. It's of 90.3 MB or something. I think yeah, it's 90.3 MB of file. Look at the detail precisely. So it says 19.20 by 1080. It means the full SD file, and you can see the frame rate. It says 23.98 frame per second. So simply, I'm gonna drag and drop this file here, like that. And once you're done with it, you're gonna see the summary tab, just like that, and whole bunch of new options all around you. And the major tab of the software is the video. Where we need to work a little bit. So once you're here onto this video tab, you're gonna see this constant quality. It says lower quality and the uh, playable quality. You need to set down this to 31 or let's say 32. I would suggest you to set to 32. Yeah, that's it. And if you have any requirement, like if you go to higher frame rate, like above 60 or maybe let's say 100, so it supports. 120 frame per second, but I'm not gonna change anything. I just want to reduce the size of the file with decent quality. So I'm gonna stick to it with the default setting, and that's it. Once you're done with it, you simply need to give the location to your file where you want your file to be saved. So here I'm gonna give a path to my file. I think I have done with the file already, so I'm not going to convert this file. I'm just going to show you the converted file already. So this is the file that the one that I have already done with it. So simply you can see the size of the file first, and then I'm gonna explain rest of the process. So this file is the converted one, and you can see the size of the file. It says 51.0 MB of file, and it says 1920 and 1080. It's full SD file and same frame rate. So now you can imagine that you can Get the same file with 50 MB and 40 MB lesser inside. So you can see that this is the real file, and this is the converted one. Just look at the detail here. So you can see the details the same almost, and you can see the size of the file. And trust me, you won't find any difference after converting it. All right, guys. So so hit this this one that I have done it already. But again, I'm gonna do it for you. So simply need to give the name to the file and simply save it. Yes. And once you're done with it, it says ready at the bottom of the software screen. You simply need to go to this start encoding tab. You simply need to start with it. Once you start doing it, it will going to show the progress and ongoing progress at the bottom of the screen, just like that. And once it's done, it's gonna notify you. And there you go. So this is how you can really reduce the file of the bigger SD file. This software works like a magic. 
and that's it i think today's video really helped you out with this process if you really like the video do not forget to subscribe and like my channel guys thank you